Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. You probably know that Lightroom has thousands of features. Well, some of those features are a little obscure. Some are kind of hidden as well. Over the next several weeks, I'll be doing a video here and there where I will tell you about one of those hidden features. In today's video, we're going to talk about one that I like to call breadcrumbs. All right, how often are you doing this? You're in the library module and you're looking for a specific image in a specific folder, but you don't know what folder it's in. So you're clicking from folder to folder and then you're thinking, well, maybe it's in a collection and you're going from collection to collection. You're clicking from one to the other, to the other, to the other. And then you thought, oh wait, it was in that folder I clicked on five minutes ago. So then you start searching again, which folder was that? And then you're clicking and clicking and clicking. Well, did you know that when you're clicking from folder to folder, from collection to collection, you're leaving a trail of breadcrumbs and you could access those breadcrumbs very easily. It's down in the film strip. If you look at the film strip and I go over to the left, you can see right now, whatever folder I have selected has 41 photos in it. One of them is selected and that's the name of that uh, image. There's a little triangle there. If I click on it, you'll see a little menu pops up. Look at recent sources. This is our trail of breadcrumbs. Right before I was in this folder with the check mark on it, I was in this folder. Right before I was in that folder, I was in a collection, this collection. So you have a trail of breadcrumbs right there. Now, it comes in really handy if you're not in the library module anymore. If you're in the develop module and you're processing an image and you need to pop back to one of those folders real quick, you don't have to click on the library module, then go through your folder list. You could do it right here. So I could click right here and I want to jump back to this other folder. I could do it right there. So it's very easy and you never left the develop module. You just pop back between those folders. And you also could go to collections as well. I'm in the develop module. I don't have to go back to the library module, but I was recently in, let's say this collection called Buffalo and I'll click there and I'm in that collection now and I'm staying in the develop module. So it's really a handy feature, this breadcrumb feature. There's a little bit more to it as well. If you haven't noticed in the library module, if you scroll all the way to the top of the left-hand panel, under catalog, you have some quick links. You could get to all your photographs, all your synced photographs. That's for when you're using Lightroom in the cloud, that other version of Lightroom, that's not Lightroom Classic. Uh, you would sync images with it or Lightroom Mobile. They don't call it that anymore, but you get the idea. Uh, quick collection. We've talked about how to create a quick collection before. That images would be there and your previous import. You could jump to it there. Well, you could access all those sites and a few more through this drop down as well. And again, you don't have to be in the library module to do it. You could be any of the other modules. I'll click there and you can see at the top, all photographs, all synced photographs. If any of your images uh, were didn't make it in the sync. They there was some type of error. They'll be there. Synced duplicates. If you synced more than one of the same image, you'll know there it synced duplicates. Go to your quick collection and your previous import. So all those are available there as well. Also, you could favorite a folder or favorite a collection. It will show up in this in this uh, menu right here. You could see I have a collection that I favored favorited favorited called Fine Art Prints. I'll just click there and I'm there. Now let's just say, let's go to library module for a minute. Let's just go to another collection. All right, let's go to uh, non-Buffalo street photography. Okay, so I have this uh, street photography and I wanna favorite this collection as well. All right, go to this drop down again and go down to the bottom, add two favorites. Now in that drop down, I'll have two favorite areas. One is the fine art print collection. And the other one is that non-Buffalo street photography collection. Now you could favorite a folder as well. It's not just the collections. So I could go to one of my, those previous folders I was in, let's say here, and I could favorite this as well. So I'll click there and I could go to add two favorites. And now I have three favorite sources. Also, as far as your breadcrumbs, your recent sources, it'll uh, keep track of your last 12. So you have 12 recent sources. 
And I don't know how many favorite sources you could have. Um, I never got up over two or three, but you could just put them there. If you want to remove this, now let's say I want to remove this from favorites, right at the bottom, remove from favorites. Just click there, and now it's not in a favorite source anymore. So those are the breadcrumbs that is a hidden feature in Lightroom, and I hope that helps you better use Lightroom and more effectively and efficiently use Lightroom when you're processing your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.